Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Travis here at Fanjo.com taking a look at the all-new Google Play Store 4.0. Uh, Google actually announced that it's rolling out in phases over the next few weeks to people um, over the air, so you don't have to do nothing. It'll just automatically update your Google Play Store. Um, I have it up and running on my Nexus 4, and I got my LG Optimus G here running the old version, so I kind of just wanted to walk you through it and show you guys um, the old versus the new. So. Right off the bat, the homepage looks a lot different. It's a lot more bright and white and uh, card style, I guess you can say. Everything's separated in these nice little cards, similar to Google Now. On the old way, it was a very magazine style interface, so um, things are just big old hunkin' chunks, and I guess people used to call it Windows, some type of Windows phone style, but uh, free music, and they have these little pictures and all this stuff that they had to do before, but now it's just, I mean, very plain, very simple. Boom, you got these huge cards full of apps, um, add to wish list. This is pretty cool because before you could ha you'd have to click it and do all this other stuff, but you can see here now there's just three little dots on every icon, even the ones that are featured, and you can just say, oh, I want to add that to my wish list. I just want to install it right away. Uh, boom, right off the bat, you don't really have to do much. So boom, 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 install, install. They just want to make it as simple as possible for people to download and install and find new content. Oh, that's a... Me Against the World is an awesome album. Okay, so let's jump into some of the apps in the app categories. Uh, we'll go here, boom. And you can see here before, again, magazine style interface. Uh, big ol' honkin' banner here, then you have game staff picks and all this stuff, and uh, it looked cool, don't get me wrong, and it's very dark. A lot of people like the dark style versus this not new bright white style, but it just, um, I guess it was really cluttered to, to uh, the Google people, and I kind of see that as well. Uh, moving over, you can see uh, Games, Editor's Choice, which is these two things right here, and then Staff Picks is not there, and Sprint, whatever. So let's go over to Categories, see pretty much larger looks the same. Move over to Top Paid. So now, where as before it was a grid style and you had two per column, this one only has one app per line. Which I mean could come in handy. It's not. It's not too bad there. Um, I like the old style better because I like to see as many as I can on the screen and kind of go through them and you know not have to scroll as much. But I guess now it features every app on its own line and it makes it look a little more appealing to developers who want to make sure their apps stand out. Top free, top grossing, top new paid, top new free, and then when we go over to trending, it goes back to a grid style as well. Um, and then on this one it's the same too, but like before those are two and this is three, you can, I mean, obviously see that. I'm going to go ahead and install a do not press the red button. Let's try this since this is a trending app. Um, and I want to show you guys how it looks when you go to an actual app listing itself. Before, I mean, I had to show you, you actually hit the little three button and then just install without even going to the app listing itself. But now, um, we're just going to show that, I'm going to show you the listing. So let's go through this. See, everything else is pretty much the same. Um, the bars for the ratings is gray now instead of blue. Uh, big ol' honkin' apps down here. Again, super easy to install if you click that little three button thing, which I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna do. They're not even gonna know that's something that you can click and install. Uh, the soccer moms and Joe Schmoes out there. Um, everything else is pretty much, pretty much looking standard. So let's go ahead and click install. And the app permissions is a little bit different here. So you can see uh, it's not up here at the top. And then, yeah, 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 I don't even care about whatever is down there at the bottom. Now it's at the bottom. So you kind of have to, your eyes will scroll through the app permissions. And it'll say, this phone will steal your identity. Like, wait, what? Or this, this application will take over your life. Click accept to download. Now here's like the big difference is it just goes back to the app listing and it shows the downloading screen where this one says keep shopping and it shows you some users also installed. Very frustrating. I mean, I guess it's handy to keep people downloading other stuff, but honestly, just go back to the listing. I want to see the little thing moving. Little download bar. And that is all installed and ready to go. Uh, what's interesting is, let me go to the settings. I is they have a new option for auto adding widgets. So before where it would automatically add a shortcut or the icon to your home screen, uh, now it can also auto add widgets. So there's a lot of people that would download a widget and then give it a horrible rating because they're like, I try to open the icon and it's not doing anything and they don't even know that it's a widget and you have to actually apply the widget. Um, it, it's so frustrating. So I guess Google 
finally did something about it and now they're auto adding widgets. So if you download something like HD widgets or Zuper widget or something like that, it's going to automatically install the widget right there on your home screen so you can see it. Which is kind of interesting because there's some, like some of those have so many different sizes and all this other stuff. So I wonder what they're going to automatically install. Um, this is the settings here, notifications, auto update apps. Uh, auto updating apps is now an option. So when you install an app, you'll get a prompt that'll say, do you want to auto update this app all the time over Wi-Fi? You just click yes or no. So it's not on by default like we originally thought. It still asks you to, or prompts you to you know, do that. On here, it's a, a little button there that says I'll allow automatic updating. So um, before, now they ask you if you want to. Here, they don't really ask you. They just kind of leave it there, but then most people forget that's even there and they don't even bother with that. So um, yeah, that's just the new Google Play Store 4.0. You guys can expect it to hit your di devices in the coming days. If you guys need a download link, uh, hit up Fandra.com where we will take the application and uh, upload it for you guys to download and apply. Uh, manually. So with that, I'm Chris Chavez, Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.